In this video, we are going to see how do we combine multiple graphs into a single graph. But before we get started, do remember that the do and the data file uh, that we are going to use in this lecture, the link for these two files are included in the description. So let's import the data set. We have our <coughs> categorical and continuous variables. So we have wage and hours as continuous variable, whereas married and race is a categorical variable. So let's make a bar chart. So how does this, uh, you know, uh, command works is a, a, a topic for another video, but let me just give you a quick idea to, to make bar chart. You click on graph and then bar chart. And then this select the metric that you want to statistic that you want to apply, select the variable and then the category category on which the bars would be created. It can be either race or whichever category that you have. So this is how this command uh, is made. So we make a graph bar chart, right? So we have a graph. Uh, a bar chart of uh, individuals uh, median salary for single and married so single earns a somewhat more salary as compared to married people and remember the graph name is uh, you know capital G R A P H it is important to remember because as soon as I would execute this new command what would happen is that it would remove the old graph and make the new graph with the same name. So uh, to combine different graphs, we first have to understand how do we name graphs. So this is the same command that we just used, but let's name this graph as G1 and use comma replace option within the name option so that if there is any graph by the name of G1, it can be replaced. So this is the same command till here, but we are using the name option. So it generated the graph and named it as G1. So we are going to generate the second graph and name it as G2. So now we have G1 and G2. Let me create another graph. And uh, this time let's have a scatter graph of wage over uh, hours and name it as G3. So we have three graphs. Uh, remember that naming the graph does not save them on the hard disk, but rather just save them in status memory. And if we were to uh, look at the list of graphs that are there, then we can simply run graph directory. So we have graph G1, G2, and G3. And if I was to describe a graph. So we use graph describe and the name of the graph. So we know which command was used to generate this graph, its format, its uh, color scheme, its size, etc. And when it was generated. So we have the description over here. So uh, we know we have graph one and graph two and graph three, but just let's combine graph one G one and G two. The command to combine graphs is graph space combine. This is, is the whole command that is used to combine the graphs and then the name of the graphs uh, with a space between them. So this would generate a new graph that would combine G1 and G2 in a single graph. But you can see how the y axis and x axis are different, but although the x axis would remain different in this case, it wouldn't be logical to have same x axis because the categories are different. But what we can do is we have wage over here uh, on the y axis, we can have same scale. So that way it's easy to compare these two graphs. So for that we can use y common. So y common option would um, make the axis similar for both graphs and x common option would make the x axis similar for both graphs. 
So com graph combine the same command G1, G2, we would get the same graph, but now we would have Y common option, so we would have same axis. So you can see that we have same axis at uh, Y axis. We can also uh, have them stacked one over the another. Now they are stacked stacked in different columns. So this is column one and this is column two. And what if we want it to be stacked in different rows? So first row and second row, one over another. So that's where the column and the row commands comes in. So we use, uh, sorry, options. So we use column option and write the number of columns that we should have or the row option and the number of rows that we should have. So in this case, if I combine graph one, two, three, and say column one, then um, it would only have one column and stack all the three graphs one over another. So you can see that we have one column, but we have different rows. Or I can simply say that Give me all these three graphs in one row, but you can have different columns. So for that, I use a row option. So I have different columns, but a single row. Or what we can do is, uh, if I was to run simply graph combine G1, G2, G3, what it would do is, uh, it would combine them like this. So it would have only two graphs per row and per column. That is the default if we have four graphs. And if we have six graphs, more than four, then it would have three by three matrix. But let's say we, rather than, uh, you know, uh, stacking row wise, so first it would uh, execute this uh, graph one, then it would place graph two or a second column and then downwards it will place the graph three but what if we want it to have column first so first this graph then it should come over here then g2 should come over here and g3 should be here and then g4 should be here so this is where we could use column first so uh, so instead of uh, executing the, the graphs row wise it can execute it column wise we also have this whole option and what this whole is do it can uh, keep a space uh, empty for us so if we wanted to add text we could have uh, we could we can add text so if you can look at this matrix we have a two by two matrix right so this is position one this is two this is position three and four and what if we want to have first graph over here and the second over here. Let's just say we have two graphs and we want to leave position two and three empty. So we use graph combine and in this case, I'm just using two graphs, G1, G2, use the option whole and within whole, I'm going to tell it which uh, space do we want to keep empty. So second position and the third position. So we have these two positions empty over here. We can use any setting that we want. We could have used uh, one and three empty, right? And then we would have this and this space empty and we, our graph would be over uh, the right hand side. There is this alt shrink, which shrinks the text of the graph, although you might not notice uh, over here, but if you can compare different graphs, then you would be better able to get an idea. Then we have this uh, I scale option. So let's run this graph and combine G1, G2. Remember, we can also name these combined graphs. So currently this combined graph is named as just graph. And whenever I run graph combine, it deletes this graph and uh, execute a new, uh, make a new graph and again rename it as graph. So rather than I should name it as, let's just say original. Uh, this is so that I can demonstrate a point to you. 
Now I'm going to use I scale. So what I scale would do is it can scale the text of the graph. So the original text is one. And if I use 0 0.5, that means 50% of the original graph. So this is the original graph and uh, 0.5 I scale would mean 50% of the original graph. So let's name this graph as scale five. This is the same graph, but just I'm changing the scale of the graph. So, so you can compare how the text of the graph had changed. Remember, this would only change the text of the graph and not the, the, the image itself. Or I could have used asterisk uh, with this uh, number and that would mean, uh, you know, asterisk is as compared to combined graph. So the, the original combined graph so this is the original combined graph. As compared to this original combined graph, our text should be 1.5% of the original combined graph. So if I do not use asterisk, it means as compared to the original graph. And if I use asterisk, it means as compared to the combined graph that Strata would have created, it should be 1.5 higher. So so this is the combined that Strata have created. And this is 1.5% greater. This is the original graph. Remember, uh, if uh, this is when I'm combining the graph, if they are stored in the memory of the Strata. What if these graphs are stored uh, on the hard drive? So let's first save the graph on the hard drive. To save the graph, you, you can use graph save and then the right uh, name of the graph and the name of the file that you want to save and the replace option so that if there is already a graph on your hard disk, it can be replaced. So I'm rather going to save both these graphs. So now two graphs are saved uh, on my hard drive. And now I'm going to combine both these graphs. Remember when you are going to combine graphs that are saved on your hard drive, either you are going to use the extension that is dot GPH, or you are going to use the name of the graph in uh, inverted commas. So, uh, so in, uh, in case if they were saved in the memory, we would just name, use the name of the graph. But when they are saved on the hard drive, we would have to use the extension. Uh, the same result we would get from here, but let me show you the uh, help menu of this uh, uh, graph combined. Uh, you can see over here the simple name, which is the name of the graph in memory. And if uh, it is the name of the graph stored in disk, then you can either use inverted commas and the name of the graph or the file or the name of the file followed by uh, the extension. Okay. We can also change the scheme of the combined graph. So that is what we do using uh, scheme option and within scheme option, we can use different options that we have. But in this case, uh, you would only see the borders being changed. And the reason is, uh, if we were to change the scheme of this whole graph, then we would have to go back to our original command and say write scheme over here. And then once we save our G1 as um, in any scheme, then we could uh, use, you know, those uh, combined graph commands. So, so this, this is the G1, which was stored in economist scheme. And if you want to look at different schemes, you can come to the help menu and look at uh, the scheme names. You have different schemes over here. There are more than, uh, you know, these schemes that we can find. I can have a title or the note uh, for these graphs. So we have this source of the data, which comes from the note option in the title of the graph. And again, I can save this graph into 
uh, my hard drive using the save option then write the name of the uh, file and we can use the replace option if you want to replace the currently saved file so i hope uh, that would give you some idea of how to use uh, combined graph combined command uh, if you have any qu queries then you can uh, leave that in the comment box below and do hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon